Hey guys, this is Simon Crawford here, Crawford Guide Service. Um, today I am showing you this video of how to introduce your bird dog puppy to, uh, to birds and also to gunfire. So uh, this pup here, uh, his name is Jake and he is a three month old short hair. He is, uh, he just finished his shots a few weeks ago and uh, now I've got him out here doing an introduction to birds. Uh, the birds that I use are pigeons. Uh, I use pigeons because they are readily available. They're hardy. Uh, they can take some punishment. Um, and uh, they're good flyers. So most of the time when I'm doing bird work, I'm using uh, pigeons. Uh, so this bird here is awake and moving around. He got up, he woke up before I could get back with, uh, with old Jake here. Um, normally, uh, the bird is asleep and when I bring the pup in, but if they get up, it's not a big deal. Um, but I pull the flight feathers off these birds, obviously, so you can see that it can fly, but not very far and uh, gives uh, the puppy plenty of opportunities to accomplish the goals that we need them to, which are uh, to smell the bird, um, to see the bird, and to taste the bird. So you can see that, that little Jake here is getting uh, lots of opportunities to to do all three of those things. Um, so the things that we want to accomplish in all of this, like I, as I said before, is to smell, see, and taste, but also uh, give me time to encourage and uh, and also to get in there and put my hands on the puppy while they've got the bird in it. Um, as you can see right there, I'm giving her some, giving him some petting. I catch the bird, I throw it, let her, let him chase. Um, you can see that, uh, that all of this genetic juices are flowing now in this pup. Uh, he is bold and excited and wants the bird. Um, you can just see it. Uh, Every opportunity he has to chase, he gets more and more excited about it. Uh, you can see there that he picked that bird up off the ground. Uh, the only thing I'd I'd like to see if I could if I could change anything would be that uh, that Jake actually gets that bird in his mouth and carries it around. Uh, okay, so I took the bird away and we moved off onto the other side of the field where I have. Uh, birds planted in remote controlled launchers. You can see I've got some pink flag flagging tape there. Uh, that way I know where the bird is and because uh, uh, when you hide it in this cover, it, it can be hard to find. So you'll notice that bird didn't fly very far, uh, flew just far enough. I've got it uh, attached to a string, uh, about 30 feet of string, which is attached to a piece of garden hose about 18 inches long. Uh, it weights that bird down so it can fly, but not very far. Uh, allows us to use that bird over and over and over again. Uh, now, this pup here, he's not showing a huge desire to point, um, but I'm not overly concerned with that. A couple of pops with the check cord, like I'm setting a hook on a trout, and uh, he, he wants to steady back up, uh, and that will come uh, the more training that we do. Um, but uh, launch the bird, allow the pup to chase hard, and uh, then we are introducing the gunfire when that pup is in full chase. Uh, my helper, Brian, he's about 50, 60 yards away with the, uh, with the blank gun and uh, firing it a couple of times while, while Jake is in full chase of that bird. Uh, anytime that you can associate gunfire with birds, uh, that's, in my opinion, that is the best way to introduce uh, gunfire to a puppy. I have read all kinds of crazy things uh, about how to do this. I've had people tell me what they do, um, and I just think it's crazy. Um, uh, this is the best way and the only way, in my opinion, to introduce a pup to gunfire. Now, this next pup here, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we switched pups, and this is Elwood. He is a litter mate to Jake, and uh, this bird here is asleep. Um, so Elwood is a 
is approaching a little more cautiously than Jake did. Uh, he's really unsure. He know he can smell that bird now, but he's a little bit tentative to to really get on on it. Um, so uh, I was nudging that bird. That bird got up a little faster than I really wanted it to, but it's going to be okay. Uh, Elwood here does something really cool right there. He came around and got into the wind on that bird. Uh, he's a very smart pup. Uh, a lot of pups won't do that as quickly as he did and, and utilize the wind. So you can see now he's not fearful at all anymore. Uh, he's very confident. He's chasing that bird hard. This is exactly what you want. This is the best way to introduce a puppy to birds. It's controlled. Um, I've still got that check cord. Um, eventually I'll let go of it uh, once I feel like he's pretty good. Um, uh, but he's chasing and we're accomplishing the goals that we have set for them, which is to, uh, to smell the bird, to see the bird, and to uh, taste the bird. So he's, he's done all of those things uh, thus far. Uh, the next thing I want to do, as I said before, is get in on there and um, and give him some loving. Uh, pet him a little bit while he's got the bird um, to encourage him by giving him some attaboys and, and good and good Elwood. Uh, Elwood's a very nice looking pup, lots of style, and you'll see that here in a minute. Uh, but uh, just, this is a great reaction. And, and again, the only thing that I'd rather see is that I'd like to see also is that he gets that bird in his mouth and actually carries it around with him. Um, and and that's that would really be a perfect situation. And not all dogs do that. So if yours doesn't do that, it's not the end all be all. Um, so there you go. You see that I'm giving him some love. I take the bird and I flip it for him and let him go chase it. Again, you could just see all of his, of his genetic uh, juices that have been bred into him just coming out. You know, he just picked that bird off the ground a little bit. Um, so, you know, I, and I don't care what they do. They could pluck it. They could kill it. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. Uh, this is the first and only time that I allow a puppy to catch a bird, or any dog, rather, puppy dog, to catch a bird. Uh, but I let him do it uh, because it... Uh, it helps to um, introduce that dog to birds. So uh, I'm trying to get him to bring it to me a little bit, or at least carry it over to me. But uh, you know, he's not real interested in doing that just yet. Uh, I probably could be out there messing with him more and longer, and could probably could have gotten him to do it. But but it's okay. So now I'm going to take him away from the bird, and again, I've got. Uh, I've got three birds out here in remote controlled launchers and I'm going to bring uh, Elwood downwind of the bird. I'm going to cut across the scent cone. You can see that pink flag right there and I'm going to cut him right across that scent cone. We're going to see Elwood just stick this bird here in a second. Uh, you can, he's, he's just really a nice looking pup, uh, real biddable. Bam, there it is right there. Uh, he gets the point. I'm going to launch it. Uh, don't really want him to point for a long period of time uh he's you know pu these puppies have the attention span of a gnat so just trying to move right along and you're going to see him he's going to stick that bird right there again bam uh, you know, uh that bird's going to get up and fly here in a second and uh he'll he'll go back right back to chasing look at that style tail up it's got that left foot up uh a lot of style so there you go, he's chasing that bird and that's exactly what we want. And uh, there's gunfire going on when he's on full chase. Uh, like I said, we start with that that blank pistol about 50 yards out. And uh, on this first day, we'll just stick with that um, and, uh, and fire that blank gun and let him get used to that. Um, and then uh, as we move along, we'll start bringing that blank pistol in closer and closer. And closer okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and look for my next video thanks